morning you guys actually it's more like good afternoon <laughs> but i was not planning on filming this video today if i'm honest and i was just gonna stay in bed all day because i was having a rough night last night and a rough morning but i honestly wanted to film the video that i was gonna film tomorrow but instead i wanted to do this video and be a little bit vulnerable with you guys so it's like 12 o'clock and i'm still in bed last night i was just having the worst period cramps and i was also like in my head and whenever i get my period i just have so many anxious thoughts and i just i don't know it just makes me feel really sad sometimes and it's I feel like it's emotions and hormones that I can't control so I just kind of have to get through them Last night I was just kind of getting in my head about like me feeling a little sad that I miss home I don't have a home base If you guys are new here I am currently in Europe and I'm just like staying in Airbnbs And don't get me wrong I'm so happy here like this is the best thing we've ever done but it also comes with that other side of it where there's growing pains because this is something that I've never done in my life before like I've never been away from home from this long this is so out of our comfort zones especially because we're such homebodies so last night i was just like getting in my head about it i'm like oh my god i miss my family was this the right decision like i want to go home i want a home base again and then i woke up this morning and i felt better about it but i didn't go to bed until like really late because i was having really bad period cramps plus my mind was just like going everywhere i was really sad but anyways i was just gonna not get out of bed today like i was literally just going to sleep all day or just be on my phone and watch netflix but i decided to turn around my day because i want to show you guys that it is possible to do that and it all starts within your mindset it really depends on how you look at things and if you're talking negatively to yourself then that's only going to make matters worse and so this morning i started to say positive things to myself rather than call myself lazy and all this stuff it's all about perspective and dwelling on the past like who cares what happened this morning who cares what happened last night we're gonna move past that because the past does not even exist anymore the only thing that exists is this present moment and if i just dwell on the past then you're just ruining the present we are going to get out of bed we're gonna have a productive day we're gonna save this half wasted day i don't even want to call it a half wasted day because i think i did waste it but at the same time like everything happens for a reason and you have to realize like when you have days like this like it's okay and it's totally normal like life is like this constantly up and down and it's ebb and flow of life in order to feel happiness you need to feel sadness vice versa so that's the mindset that we're taking on today and we're gonna have a productive day no matter what my morning <laughs> looked like and yeah i'm just like super into being you know in my routine like all my videos about are about productivity but i just want to show you guys and be vulnerable that things like this happen to me i'm not perfect nobody's perfect and it's just all in your mindset how you're going to turn things around and grow from here and move on let's just get our day started let's stop rambling and let's have a good rest of our day together the first thing we're going to do is put our phone down and not go on that anymore <laughs> even just me being up right now makes me feel so much better um, but as you can see my room is quite a mess and I really want to tidy things up and that'll make me feel like a million times better So I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to just like make the bed and then we can tidy the room right away I also want to get a load of laundry on so let's do that quickly and then we'll do our uh, morning routine
just gonna make breakfast now instead of going because usually my morning routine i would go do my yoga and meditation at this point but i'm so hungry it's already halfway through the day so we have to adapt and i'm gonna make probably like my healthy oatmeal bowl so that it makes me feel good super easy and quick to make so we'll do that quickly eat breakfast have my coffee and then we will go to the beach and i think i want to not just do my yoga meditation there, but I kind of want to tan there and chill there today for a bit. So yeah, let's get our breakfast or breakfast and lunch combined. do too much to my face today i just put on some sunscreen and i don't know i'm not feeling like a full makeup day but i still do kind of want to make myself look you know presentable and make myself kind of get myself a bit together because i have been doing that every day and it makes me feel good and usually on a day like this you guys i would not get myself ready at all like i would just honestly be staying in bed at this point but if you just put in like that little bit of effort just to make yourself feel like ready for the day and good then it's gonna make the world of a difference throughout your day you're gonna thank yourself for it we're kind of taught to like beat ourselves up for having a lazy day and that we need to be productive machines all the time but the reality of it is that it's normal like it's completely normal obviously if you are laying in bed all day every single day then that can become an issue but a couple days or one day if that happens it is okay and i still honestly don't feel my best right now like i'm not at my peak happiness that i could be but i know that once i go through the day at the end of the day i'm gonna be happy that i didn't just lay in bed all day and that i actually did something with my day and it doesn't have to be anything like productive it can literally just be you going out for a walk but you guys this is my last video that i'm filming in this airbnb which is crazy because I am moving locations. So yeah, it's kind of sad that this is the last video in this Airbnb, but I'm really excited for what's to come and everything. On days where I don't feel like wearing mascara, I've been putting Aquaphor on my eyelashes and it kind of makes them look like they have something on them, which is nice. I got this tip in the comments. You guys said to use Vaseline, but I don't have Vaseline. So I'm guessing Aquaphor works just the same. got changed i think i'm just gonna wear these shorts and then i have the bikini i might just put a shirt on to walk there but this is the little beach fit of the day and now i'm just gonna do my yoga and meditation on the beach and just take a chill i'm just gonna see what i want to do not force myself to be productive today I'll just give myself some grace because i know i'm not feeling good i didn't have a good night didn't have a good morning so i'm gonna be really easy on myself today but let's head to the beach doesn't make sense now Shit just got real, things are getting intense now I hear you talking about we a lot, oh you speak French now Giving me the sign so I gotta take a hit now I hate you look like, do you wanna hang right now? On the east side, ain't no one with the thing right now I just got back from the beach. I ended up going to like this beach that I've never been to. Well, it's like the same beach that's near me, but it's like a different opening that I've always wanted to go to. So I'm like, you know what? There's no better day than today to go try that out since I was feeling a little low and like it's always cool to go experience new things and it was really cool. The only thing is, is it was so windy like i wanted to like tan but i honestly couldn't because the wind was just crazy and it was like blowing sand everywhere so i'm like you know what i just did my yoga meditation and then just kind of walked around for a bit and then i'm like okay time to go because i cannot tan here with the amount of wind there is like i wanted to vlog there and like talk but i couldn't because of the amount of wind like you guys would not have been able to hear me but anyways i came home and the laundry like you know i put my laundry in before the laundry machine is like not working it's saying error 
so I don't know how to fix it. I'm not gonna try to fix it because it's like not our place. It's just an Airbnb, so like whatever, we're leaving um, in a couple days anyways. So I think I'm gonna go to a laundromat because my clothing right now is like half wet because it like started and then it just said error now, so I don't know what to do. I tried to restart it like a couple times, but it just keeps saying error. So I think I'm gonna take my wet soggy clothes to the laundromat. I haven't been, but apparently like the Airbnb host told us that there's one just like down the road here. It was kind of a bummer that it was so windy I couldn't stay to tan because I really wanted to stay at the beach today. It was like hot, but since there's so much wind, it like makes you a little bit cold. So I just like, it was just wasn't the vibe today, but that's okay because we still did our yoga and meditation out there, which was really nice. But yeah, I'm looking at the weather right now. There's a literal wind warning. Um, But anyways, I guess let's go to the laundry mat. Okay, I just put a crew neck on because it's windy. And then I have my laundry in here. It's so disgustingly wet, but we're gonna get that all sorted. <laughs> got back from the laundromat i actually found it fine it was like literally five minute walk away i gotta go back in like 20 minutes to dry it but in the meantime i think i'm just going to do a little bit of editing so i can at least get something done today my little grocery haul i literally just got oranges and a tomato so random but we just needed more oranges and then i wanted a tomato for tonight's dinner um but yeah i've been literally going to the grocery store every day because i've just been getting a small amount every day because the produce here it goes bad so fast so you kind of need to buy it every day or every second day but yeah that's just the little haul yeah I want a house in the hills I pay big bills for I ain't got a pocket I want to empty out my wallet I want to stop motion, stand still Wallace and Gromit I want to talk more endlessly I want to neurotically vomit I want more dollars for my mama I want a palace in Prada I want a Gucci bag where I can store my sorrows and hardships I want to go plate my pinings I want endless tomorrows I want a lot more than I got right now That's the problem You could give me every little thing I'd ever want but I never have enough till the day I had it up. You can give me every little thing I ever want. But I me and Joel just went on a walk, and oh my god, the sun is so pretty. The sunset was so pretty. It was like one of the most beautiful sunsets we've had since we were here. And I'm so happy we went out to go on a walk. But yeah, overall, I'm just so happy that I turned around today. And I feel so much better, like, especially after getting myself out of bed and, like, doing something with my day, going outside, spending so much time in nature today. And especially that evening walk just made me feel so good and more, like, aligned now. And if I just stayed in bed all day, I would feel like crap, honestly. And then it would just lead into the next day. But I'm happy that I pushed myself and kind of just erased the past. Like, I'm not going to feel guilty about my morning that I slept in until, like, 12. So it's fine. You just can't dwell on things like that. But anyways, I'm just going to shower now and get ready for bed. Nothing hits, like, a shower at night before bed oh my gosh and then i'm probably just gonna read in bed but anyways let's go shower and get ready for bed it was such a good day and i hope it motivated you guys 